Let me ask you a question. Can you think of one scene? One scene in any film that regardless of the overall quality of the whole product stands out to you. One scene that is distinctly memorable, brings you endless joy and encapsulates everything you love about filmmaking. I'm sure you can already think of a few. Moments like these are always coming into our minds when discussing films. And when they're done really well, moments like these have such a power that they define the careers of those who brought them to life. Which brings us to here. See, I want to examine one scene in particular. One scene that is not only perfect in the context of the film, but it's what I truly love about this filmmaker and why she is truly important. This being Celine Sion. A quick background for those unfamiliar. Siama is a French director with four films to her name. Water Lilies, Tomboy, the sensational masterpiece that was Portrait of a Lady on Fire, and the film I want to talk about today. Her 2014 movie, Girlhood. Known in French as Bande de Fille, this film tells the story of growing up in the suburbs outside of Paris and examines how our lives are affected by our friends and by social groups through the lens of gang culture. Specifically, gang culture among women, which is not normally explored when discussing this issue. As a whole, the film is a beautiful story. But let's get back to what I was talking about earlier. One moment. The moment that encapsulates everything about the film and stays with you long after it's over. So let me set the scene for you. After her original run-in with the gang, Marianne, our protagonist, takes a fascination with them and begins to hang around them, change her appearance and mannerisms for their approval. The gang decide to head to Paris for a wild night of doing whatever the hell they want. Marianne still feels like an outsider. No matter how hard she tries, she isn't one of them yet. And that's until that night. After the gang steals dresses, gets alcohol, and books a hotel room. And then, well, this happens. Palms rise to the universe as we moonshine and Mali. Feel the warmth will never die. We're like diamonds in the sky. In this scene, after everything the girls have gone through, they finally get a moment to let their hair down and they can finally stop the tough, dominant facade they use to keep power. And they can finally just be teenage girls. And they revel in it. They're finally free from the pressure to be more than that. And it's here, this key moment, that Marianne finally sees herself in these girls. She at last understands them, and in joining them, she knows now that she belongs somewhere. Without a single line of dialogue, so much is being said, and it isn't just here. Almost immediately after this scene, we get a moment between Marianne and Lady, the gang's leader. In having a small heart-to-heart, -heart, they reach an understanding, as Lady's barriers are down and Marianne is gifted with a new identity, Vic. As now she's become an integral part to the group and she has that feminine influence and love that she's always wanted and she's always needed. So this leads me back to Siama. If there's one thing all her films have in common, it's a complicated relationship with womanhood and society. Whether it's struggling with feelings of a first attraction, a conflict of one's own gender identity, a love that you know can't be. And in this film, embracing womanhood and how it guides you through life. Siyama's stories come from such a personal place, but are so universal. 
something that can definitely be traced back to our influences of filmmakers like Kieślowski. But there's something about her voice in how it's so fragile and empathetic, but also is so bold and distinctive that it makes her one of the greatest filmmakers working today. So look for those moments. Next time you're watching a film, look for those scenes that grab you and make you feel such a range of emotions. Just think, why is this effective? What's this saying? And maybe, just maybe, you'll learn something new.